Welcome back guys, in today's video I'll show you how to make a selection system, or a pickup six system, um, by uh, using the new proximity prompt. What you want to go into, go to file, and then uh, select beta features, then scroll down until you find proximity prompt, and then just enable it. And then, it's going to tell you to restart, so just restart after that. So, what you want to do uh, now, and what I'm going to do is, you want a model, you want a um, model of your tool. I mean, this is, uh, I'm just going to call it prop, and inside of that, um, we are going to have our proximity prompt. Now, we have our real tool, I'm going to put that into replicated storage, but um, here we have it. So, once you've enabled it, what I, I actually can't find the proximity prompt in here, so what I did was go into the command bar, and then do instance.new, and then type proximity prompt that then do a dot parent is equal to workspace and you'll see that a proximity prompt will pop in up to that so there we go next what we're going to do here is there's a lot of things like action text all that so the action text i'm going to uh, write that in uh, pick up um and you can see here it says e and we can pick that up, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go right into object text, and we can do pick up sword. Now, um, let's make this uh, seven seconds to hold it, and you can see right here you can choose the keyboard code, so you can basically choose whatever you want to pick it up. Now, I'm just gonna select E because that's probably the most common one, and with the action text, you can also change all kind of other stuff. So, what we're going to do now is <clears throat> um, we're going to go in and insert a script inside of it. We're going to do script.parent.triggered. We can actually trigger this. And then we're going to do connect function. And we can actually type PLR here and it will actually get the player. Um, you can type anything here, it will just apply to the player. So, then we're going to do game.replicated storage.classic sword colon clone dot parent the parent is equal to plr dot backpack. Then, what we're going to do is we can, are going to destroy this. So, we're going to do script dot parent dot parent colon destroy, like that. So, that should work. Let's um, test it out. I'm just going to put the spawn right here. Um, there we go. And that should work. Uh, I know, yeah. So, let, let's test that out. We're going to go here. You can see here, and this looks really neat. You can see it says this, pick up sword. It looks really cool. You can see right here, we'll have to wait 7 seconds. And if you cancel it, it'll just stop here and go back. So, that's really cool. So, let's wait until here, and it will now trigger the event. And we got the sword. So that's really cool. Now let's go back and let's make some additional changes. What we can also do here is before that we can do a we can make a print statement, and we can do plr dot dot um, has picked up a dot dot. So we can also do local tool name is equal to um, in this case it's classic sword so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do dot dot um, in here and we're gonna do tool name so there we go so let's uh, go in here and now it will tell the server who picked up and what kind of tool they picked up so let's uh, open the output you can see here we have everything set we can pick it up can't wait seven seconds and yeah it will print to the output so that's pretty cool and she's right here boom oh there's a uh, there's a glitch here um workspace prompt oh uh um what does it say here line three uh workspace up god Oh god. Alright, let's check it out. It says there's an error. Ah, I see why. I see why. Player.name. It has to be player.name. 
It's in there. There we go. Now it should work. All right, there we go. Let's check the output. All right, so now um, we're gonna test it out again. I need I I wrote player, not player name. There we go. See, it says first has picked up a classic sword. There's not really a space there, but you can see. And that's pretty much how I do it. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll leave the model uh, in there, but it won't. You right now it's a beta feature, so I don't think it's gonna work uh, public. But yeah, we'll see about that. See ya.